Hello guys, I hope you all doing good. Welcome to another video. Today we are going to solve another JavaScript question. This is a React question in which we are going to create a custom hook for debouncing. So in the previous video we had seen what is debouncing and how to implement the classic debounce function as well as one of its variation that are being that is being oftenly being asked in the interviews currently. So we are going to implement a custom hook that will help us to do the debounce event in JavaScript, sorry, in React. So let's get started. Here I have the boilerplate ready. As you can see, I have one input type search and then one on that, on the on change event, I have assigned a function debounce search. That debounce search uses the use debounce custom hook and to that custom hook, I have passed the function as well as the delay time after which the debounce should work. So if you are not already aware about the debouncing, I highly recommend going through my previous video. Um, I'll add the link to the video in the description as well as in the cards. So you can go through and understand the debouncing event. So on change, we are going to print the value of the search, whatever the user has typed. Now to create this custom hook use debounce, I've created this function. Now here, because in React, anytime when the state updates, there is a re-rendering happening. So in order to avoid the reassignment and the redeclaration of the function, what we are going to do is we are going to use use callback hook that is being provided natively by React so that we can create a memoized function that will hold the state as long as its dependencies are not changed. So using the use callback, we'll create the debounce function that will help us to keep the state intact so that even if the re-rendering happens within the component, the debounce function does not update. This is very important because for debouncing we are going to use set timeout and if there is a multiple re-rendering happening and if your function gets re-rendered and reassigned multiple times, you will see that your debounce hook is not working properly within React component. So that's why it is important to use the use callback hook. Also to store the timer ID of the set timeout. Rather than using a variable, I'm going to use useRef because useRef create a reference and its value is not updated on the re-render, it is persisted. If you declare the same using a variable, the value of the variable will be re uh, updated on the re-render. That's why we are not going to use a variable, rather we are going to use useRef. So let's start implementing the classic debounce function over here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to declare the timeout and that is using the ref hook and to this I'll pass null. Now refs returns an object which has a key current that key current holds the value. So on this timeout variable we'll have dot current a uh, key accessed that we will be using to store and access the value of the timeout. After this let's create the debounce function now use callback this takes a function as well as a dependency and it returns the same function to the debounce and this function value will remain intact as long as the dependencies does not change so the dependency we will have is the debounce accepts a function and delay time now this function and delay time as long as they remain same in the dependency our callback function will also persist the same state. In case if function or delay changes so it will return a new callback. So it rem memoizes or caches the behavior so that the internal working remains intact. Now here I am going to take the context and the arguments of the function so arguments is a special keyword that is available within a function that is declared using 
uh, or, or that is declared as a normal function using this you can access all the arguments that this function will receive directly rather than using a rest operator something like this so you can use the arguments keywords as well to access all the arguments and we are storing the context or the current this value for this function so that we can pass it further to the function that we are accepting as an input now here i am going to clear the timeout so if the debounce function is invoked again we want to clear or reset the timer so that the debounce should only work after the delay so i am just going to clear the timeout timeout dot current so this will return me the timer id after that i am going to assign a value to this current so i'm going to create a timeout function and inside that the input function that we are taking will pass the context so we'll apply the context to it along with the arguments and then at the end i'm going to add the delay after how many time the debouncing should work now at the end i'm going to return this debounce function that we have received from the callback so that's it our debounce is ready a custom hook that will use the debouncing now let me run this now if you see if i type something after a delay of one second that value is printed on the console so that's what we are doing in the input search we have used a debounce search that will trigger the on change event after one second delay that is 1000 milliseconds so if you type something in the search box the input will be console locked or the on change function will be invoked after a delay of one second so let me type something and see its value is visible or printed after one second so this is how you can create a custom hook the only thing you have to remember is because on let's say if you are storing this on change value in the state that means a re-render will be triggered after the state update so there is a high chance that if you are not using a use callback this timer will be reset so your debounce may not work that's why it is recommended you should use or you should define your debounce function inside the use callback hook Apart from this, you can use the variation of the uh, debounce as well as I have shown in the previous video. So you can use the trailing and uh, leading option and you can use the same implementation over here. So let me copy the code from here rather than typing. I'm just going to copy that. So apart from delay, it is going to accept the option also as a argument. And then this option I'll pass as a dependency to the use callback function and now inside that we are going to have another flag so that is let is leading and here i'm going to use use ref again and i'll assign the default value as false to that and after that whatever is within the function right the context i'm going to copy so we already have the context and the arguments and after that the remaining stuff i'm going to replace and here i'm just going to update the variables so because we are using use ref we have a special key that is accessible on the variables dot current so we have to use dot current every time to access the value that's why for the timeout and for the invoke i am updating the value for the current so that we can access and update the value on those variables similarly here and here and at the end now this should work along with the variation so right now we have enabled the leading and trailing both so your debounce function should be invoked at the beginning as well as after the delay that is one second so if i type something you see it was invoked at the beginning as well as after the delay that is one second or thousand milliseconds so this is how you can create a custom hook that you can use for debouncing in react i hope you have learned something new today thank you